Today we're going to do something I promised myself I would never do, and that is listen to Metallica's most boring song. There was a dark and horrible time in Metallica's career in the mid-90s. I'm talking about the load and reload era. Lord Hetfield lost his way and the band floundered while trying to find a new sound. Now, I'm talking about the song Bleeding Me, which apparently is about someone who's going through mental torture, according to Jason Newstead, the former bassist. The question is... How much torture will this be for us to listen to? <laughs> Avoid torturing your listeners by signing up for my free music theory email newsletter. You get free tabs, guitar tips, and tricks. You can go deeper with me by taking my full music theory course. That's 50 plus videos on every guitar technique and music theory topic imaginable. And if you want to go all the way, penetrate, balls deep sign up for my patreon page all of my courses all of my tabs the power to make reaction requests and right now we're doing a killer halloween challenge you get to post your riff for feedback it's amazing i'm gonna put my cans of power on and we're gonna check out this track and find out if it really is metallica's most boring song ever A little bit different, starting off with like an organ. Oh, it sounds like some bass. Pedal tones is the name of the game. At least they're starting off right with that. Pedal tones are like the most important thing ever in life, period. Lars, give it to me. There's Papa Hetfield. Bass. What Kirk Hammett is doing there is actually cool. That main riff, I have to use the word, it's a, just a bit on the boring side. And when Kirk came in with those volume swells, that was definitely uh, something a little bit more interesting. Especially, man, I, I love this idea, again, of the pedal tone where you have something fixed going on underneath and then there's chords changing on top. Um, I'm hearing like, you know, E minor, D and C chords, the classic Iron Maiden progression. It actually sounds really good. Now it sounds like nothing else matters though. You blew it! You blew it, Kirk! Oh. Digging my way to something better. Digging all the way to China. I'm pushing to stay. I'm pushing to stay with something. I'm pushing to stay with something better. With the Ouija board guitar. I love that. Yeah. Now, that's a pretty boring chorus, if I'm being honest here. Um, it's like, let's talk about it like it's in standard tune. I think they're down a half step, but so it's like E down to D. Don't get E, D. <laughs> now, that's just a boring, boring line there. And then it goes down to A, which kind of gives us like a Dorian sound. Um, I'm not amused. Yes, 
first two. Let's see if we can make it through a second verse. That's a cool little tag. Kirk and James always have this nice synergy between their guitar parts, the way they orchestrate. Phenomenal guitar tone, but just boring chords. Just slow and predictable. There's that A again. Lars is kind of more busy than usual here. Oh, dude, Lars is showing off. Maybe he's not the worst drummer in the metal genre. Can't take that shit. Can't take this song. It almost feels, almost feels like a country song. Uh, it's a bit painful. Whoa, a slide. <clears throat> Just slide on into this solo. I mean, they were trying different things, obviously, in this period. Slides, shitty chords, boring songs. Sometimes you have to do that. I mean, now we're back into this painful chorus. Where Lars is uh, showing off his skills. Of a sour harmony there. No, 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 no. This is not it, boys. I'm sorry. Papa Het knows that he's trying to summon more musical power. His voice is sounding really good. It's very in tune, on key, lots of power. Oh, wow, what is this section here? Okay, there's a little yeah. Oh. Oh, this is different. Will the song redeem itself? We're gonna need some crab walking from uh, the basis for that. I'm the beast that feeds the beast. Okay, so we're back in the chorus. That was like a bridge. I don't know if I can do another chorus here. Oh, oh my ears. Bleeding. No, you said it. Can't take it no more. Pop ahead. Walk. When in doubt, hit the wall. Okay, there's a little harmonic interest with the shift to B. Oh, 
Kirk, I don't think a wah pedal is going to save this song. Oh, there's some almost crab walking from Robert. Like some key changes or tempo changes or a little bit more variation in the riffs. Oh man, it's not over. So now we're repeating the, uh, the first verse as if that needed to be done. Look at that sky, very ominous. Hope it starts raining blood on the song to make it stop. Oh, here we go. It's over. All right, Lars, wrap it up, Lars. I mean, listen, we can't always write our best songs all the time. That's the way it is. What do you think of this track? Um, for me, it was a letdown. Like, I'm looking for some elements of surprise when I listen to music, something that isn't expected. And this song just doesn't really deliver. It sounds to me, you know, like they're trying to go more commercial, even past, you know, the Black Album. The Black Album was like their first attempt at sort of appealing to a wider market, but then they just went too far with the load and reload. Write less boring songs by signing your soul away to me for my free music theory email newsletter. It's an incredible deal, just cost your soul. No, I'm just kidding, it's totally free, free tabs. And then if you want to really learn how to write songs that are more surprising, you're gonna have to study a little bit more. That's what Papa Hat did. So take my full music theory course for that. He went to the School of Hard Knocks and the School of Metal, but I've sort of condensed all that information to speed up the process for you. And if you want to go even deeper and become an ultimate master of music, sign up for my Patreon page. The real key element of value there is you get a chance to post your music for direct feedback from me and my other patrons. If you really want to grow in your technique and your songwriting, that's the best way to do it. Just get in the ring and start fighting. I'm going to go listen to some less boring music, like Cardi B. <laughs>